welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm gonna talk about my uh, well the product I accumulated during the one month and a half this is uh, the drugstore product and some of them are French pharmacy products the mainly body care products so let's start with the most interesting part and that's of course makeup well, um, I have so much that I don't even know what to start from, so let's do the foundation. I got one foundation from the drugstore. This is by brand Catrice. I don't talk a lot about Catrice because in Barcelona I don't find Catrice anywhere. So I got it when I traveled um, to Latvia, my hometown, and this foundation looks like this. This is the... Um, HD liquid coverage foundation and mattifying second skin effect. I have to say I like it very much and for the drugstore uh, foundation this is a really good one. The mattifying, yes it is, it's quite thick and it's quite mattifying. For summer it was perfect because anytime I want to go out I would definitely put this one and uh, probably I will mix a little bit of some you know glowy like highlighter, liquid highlighter into it to bring up a little bit of glow but the texture of this foundation really it's quite thick and it has a very uh, good coverage so if you're on a oily side this is a really good option for you and it's HD and there is no SPF so it's perfect for the pictures so this one I have in shade um, sand beige now another thing from Cat uh, from Catrice no there is no Catrice anymore this is the only thing I got from Catrice okay let's talk about NYX cosmetics as well we don't have it in Barcelona so I got several th things from NYX one is dewy finish uh, long lasting uh, setting spray I have to say I don't really use setting sprays I normally have some I don't know, just uh, spray for the face, you know, like cuddly um, grape wine uh, water or just, you know, normal oven water. But I really love this one and it does make a difference. I have to say I'm converted. So this one has a dewy finish. Beautiful. Loving it. Seriously. Okay, another thing from NYX that I got. Oh, several things. Okay just to get into something that I'm actually having right now in my lips. This is a very beautiful lip liner in uh, pale pink. And yeah, this is like a very uh, kind of a chalky pink color. I don't know if you can see right now and I love it. I love having, especially with the tan, it, it looks so nice. I think it's a very summer uh, look and I've been using it a lot. You can have see it on my lips right now and if you swatched it's like this. I think it kind of suits any uh, skin tone and actually I combine it right now in general. I combine it with uh, Maybelline uh, Baby Lips in number two. I also purchased it so I'm just showing it like this but no need to talk about it. There are going to be a lot of products that I kind of repurchased because I like them and they're I have finished them, so I need a refill. So now, okay, this is the new thing, loving it. Another thing by NYX that I got, and I still haven't opened it, so I'm gonna open it in front of you. This is the eyeshadows, and this I got for autumn, to use it for my autumnal makeup. It's called, oh, the eyeshadow is called Low. Yeah, very funny. Okay, um, this is kind of a burnt brick color. And... I still haven't tried it, but I was really interested in uh, this shade. Okay, um, okay, it looks like this. I think it's quite beautiful. I've never, yes, I have only one eyeshadow by NYX, and I find it very nice. They're buildable, they're not very, like, they're not super pigmented. There is, like, oh my god, which, you know, I don't like, like, very pigmented um, products, makeup. Like at all. I love something that I can build up. It's like this. Yeah, pretty orangey. But I believe that it's going to be very nice on the eyes. Maybe not like the whole eyelid, but maybe a little bit color of here, a little bit of there. 
Yeah, looking forward to it. I'm going to be doing a tutorial with this one because I'm very, very excited. Because I got also the matching uh, liner. It's sort of a new thing, Vivid Brights, it's called. Here it goes like this. It's a, it's not like a, it's a not pencil, it's eyeliner. Look, this is, it's going to be very orange. I'm just going to go on top of this. Look, you more or less can see how it's going to be. I think it's going to be very pretty. Of course, if you don't like to experiment with uh, makeup, probably it's going to be too daring for you, but you know, you can always make it in a very subtle way. Oh my God, it's just dried off on the spot. Hmm. Wow, that's nice. It's dry. The way I say it, it's going to be, it's not going to be difficult to apply. It has a very nice wand. Super, very excited. It's a number, it's called Vivid, oh, it's called Vivid Delight, if you're interested. Okay, and it's low. Now, this is it for NYX. Oh no, another thing from NYX. Yes, that was, I was really excited to, to find. Because I know that the, uh, the pencil that you use in your waterline to brighten up the look, and if you're, you're tired, it really brightens up your appearance. And I know that the lilac shade is more like you can see it is it's nicer for the eyes like better than the beige or the like plain white this is basically uh the best shade for uh what line and it's in um, it's called it's number four lavender blush it's called so yeah they have several uh shades but I wanted to go for lilac, but I have a lot of different pencils and, you know, for all purposes. That's it for NYX. Oh, no, excuse me. I have another thing from Catrice. I said I only bought the foundation. This is a very interesting thing. It's a lip glow, lip pencil. Now, this is that kind of a universal, universal kind of shade that basically it simply um, takes on the color of your lips. It has almost no color when you like I don't know what to swatch it here like there's like very pink shade if you know Christian Dior this uh, uh, lip gloss this also kind of glow or something kind of takes on your uh, color and it just beautifully matches any um, lip tone color so this is basically the same concept it's a lip liner and uh, it and it simply defines your uh, lips but it doesn't bring up on the color and it's perfect if you don't like to have like this your, your lips strong like you just want to have it groomed and nicely looking but you don't want to have actual color of a lip liner you just want to have it defined this is the perfect option for you it's just one color lip glow that's it nothing else yeah it looks like this it's by Catrice now have Sarah Potter by Essence Two. Okay, one I purchased again. This is the transparent gel brow, brow gel <laughs> that I buy all the time. So no need to talk about it. You know all about it. And I have several uh, lip pencils too. I think the third one somewhere there. Okay, these are the new ones. The one that I purchased. Everybody knows about it. It's uh, in the nude. And these two, these is these are the one is red blush and another is uh, wish me a rose. Wish Me Rose is a very nice pink color, like this, here it is, just very classical uh, pink color, if you like pink. And this one, it has a bit of a raspberry undertone, it's not exactly red, it's like, has a little bit, I wouldn't say it's red, actually I thought it would be more red, but it's like Bardot, light Bardot color. Okay, this is from Essence. I think this is from Essence. Some, one thing from Essence. Really nice thing. This is the um, long lasting eye pencil. Like, it's like super silver pencil. I love this pigmented uh, silver pencil because it's so nice to draw a line or to use it for the corners of your eyes. It's unbelievably pigmented. Look at this the payoff of the color. It's metallic, it's just amazing, and it's so soft. Uh, check it out because it's a very, very good product. 
and I have to say I would say this is like the best I, I tried many silver um, pencils because I like to have it in my collection I use it a lot and this one of the best ones that I've used so yeah and it's quite cheap as you know it's essence yeah okay this is a really really nice thing I if you know I don't use a lot of bronzers but I kind of wanted to to try because I was about to choose something from um, to Faced or Benefit the famous Hula bronzer but I thought okay let's see if I actually going to use it and I did I did a lot like every day so I yeah but I really really like it so maybe when I finish it I'll get another bronzer but right now I really enjoyed this one it's matte it's it's just this I have it right now on my face. It just gives you a little bit of this nice bronzy look, but without being exaggerated. It smells of caramel, vanilla, it's amazing. I love using it. It's, uh, I think you know about it. It has a sponge here, it's amazing. I've been using it. It's basically sometimes I don't use foundation. I just draw everything with this, um, concealer and just put it out with a beauty blender and it's amazing basically this serves for me for me and on the daily basis it serves as a um, foundation for me yeah I love it it's one of the best I have to say it's more thick and it has a more coverage than their fit me concealers which I also like very much okay um, another thing that I purchased because I had it before it's uh, L'Oreal Lumi Magic. This is like a Touche Claire by same thing, uh, the same concept as the Y has. What I like about this one, it more serves as a like more of a concealer than just a highlighter, which I like more because like this I can put it on my in my cosmetic bag and use it like it's a multitasking um, product. Whereas the Y cell has, yeah, it's more liquidy, yeah, as far as I remember, it, it's more liquidy. Whereas this one has, a, you know, more thicker consistency and it goes very nice and highlights as well, as you know. So, yeah, this is a very good option and I like it a lot. It's my second or third one, so I don't know. I have several products by uh, Dr. Hauschka. I don't know, it's a, it's a, probably it's a kind of a pharmaceutical brand. I'm not good. like yeah I mean in German it's very popular everybody uses Dr. Hauschka and I, I have a lot of products by Dr. Hauschka especially the skincare products but I never tried the the makeup of like Dr. Hauschka and it's it's a good thing because obviously it's like on a more organic side it has less chemicals in there like probably none <laughs> I don't know so I have the mascara which I still haven't tested that much so but I really love the wand and it's a volumizing I think this is gonna be really good unfortunately I still cannot tell you how much I like it but this is the, the whole so some of the products still has haven't been tested there is this brown um, eye pencil which I'm more inclined to to use the um, eye pencils that come from the pharmaceutical brands like La Roche-Posay or Dr. Hauschka because I realized that I go right into my eye with a, eye pen uh, with a pencil and the less chemicals it, it has in there the better and I feel like I can wear my mic makeup longer without having my eyes a bit like you know on a rotating side because I really cannot wear makeup for a long time just my eyes start I start to hurt a little bit that's actually the reason I have the mascara and the eye, pen, um, eye pencil so I feel like if I'll be using this maybe I will have more tolerance to actually wearing makeup yeah and I have a lip gloss and kind of a red because I was into the, this red lip color uh, in winter, in summer. Yeah, it's, it's more of a transparent side. I just put it on top of this. But it has a... Um, well, for lips, you also... It's nice to have the lip glosses that don't scream, Oh, I have like a million chemicals in there. So I feel like if I use less 
bad ingredients on my lips especially they will be like you know healthier and better looking in, in the long run so yeah Dr. Harish code is now the lipstick I got was so surprised by quality. It's by a brand called Lumine. It's a Finnish brand and it's in number 16, Autumn Night. This one is a really beautiful shade. And the, okay, shade is beautiful, but the texture is amazing. And the longevity of this lipstick is beyond. Actually, I've never used such lipstick that has such a great color payoff and also lasts you for such a long time. And yet, it smells very nice and doesn't feel very like artificial as well. Yes, I'm just going to. Loving it. Has a very beautiful. It's on a more raspberry shade, which is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I've been wearing it a lot. Actually, these two goes my nice together, even though it's called red blush. Now, I have two nail polishes, of course, how, without nail polishes. One is by, um, what is it, uh, the Body Shop. I was in a bit of an orange uh, strike for the past several weeks, and I loved wearing orange color, and then I got bored, but I still wanted something warm and something like a tony color and uh, yeah i saw this pale um, orange color nail polish loved it i um, i used it only once so and i didn't really film anything with this color but it's beautiful i'm gonna use it one day so you will see if you don't like if you like orange color but you don't want to be like very like a carrot orange very bright one you can start with this one because it has a very subtle orange color and well, more layers you put, brighter it will be, but I love this, you know, delicate orange uh, shade. And I got the new nail polish by L'Oreal in, um, in Dimanche Après Midi. This is a really nice uh, pink mauvey color, but it's, uh, not actually mauvey, it's quite pink. It's like milky bright pink color. Yeah, a little bit on the Barbie side color, but depending how you style it, what you wear with it, I wear very plain clothes, so for me it's really nice. Still didn't really use it that much, like I tried it only. I didn't even have my whole hand on it still, but I loved it so much. And with this lipstick I'm wearing right now, I feel like this is the color to wear. So yeah, I still want to catch the weather, the sun, when it still feels like summer, so I can, you know, enjoy this color. Very beautiful. Dimanche Comedy. Okay, uh -huh. Valerian. Now, let's get to the products. One of those things that I got in Riga as a product is this hand cream by the brand called Isana. It's a German brand. I don't have it here in Barcelona, so I always get something from Isana from Riga. It's hand cream intensive care and it has 5% of urea. I don't know exactly what it is but it's something that really mm, like moisturizes your hands like it's like if you have a dehydrated skin this is something you have to look for in a cream so it's a beautiful cream it's actually one of the best creams I've ever used and it's almost over so shame I'm loving it if you see the packaging if you in your country you can get hands on this enough Try this cream, it's really nice because winter is coming soon and we all need a good hand cream. Now, okay, another product, probably my favorite body care product, is by Revlon and it's dry oil, like it's after shower dry oil. Basically, you put this oil after you shower on a wet body, not leaving the, you know, the, the shower or the bathtub, and you just put it all, um, on your body and then when you come out of the shower you just pat yourself a little bit and while you are washing your face or putting cream on your face this oil will absorb leaving the most beautiful velvet sensation of the skin it's dry oil like it will look like your skin is dewy and almost wet but it's not right now actually i have it on my skin and okay in the camera probably it's not going to translate but i feel like 
It's just so nice and it smells divinely. This one is uh, BB oil, beautifying oil, I suppose. I haven't used it yet. Well, I have used it actually right now. Still finishing my coconut oil because they have several. They have coconut oil and they have a... Uh, uh, argan oil all of them I had and this one I'm soon to start amazing this one has rose hip oil and almond oil so it smells amazing this is one of those multitasking um, products because it's just so fast if you don't have time in the morning this is the best thing really now this one I purchased in a pharmacy. This is for my irritations, so when I have problems with the skin, which I had before, now not so much, but I still decided to have a backup. I still am still using it from time to time. This is Cerazinc. You know about this product? Product I talked about in my videos. If you haven't, check my uh, French pharmacy haul and uh, you have a full review on that. Now, Another product that I really, really like and I'm so happy I discovered it, it's the cream by Aven. It's Xera Calm. Why I really like this product, I don't use it every day. This is for rotations. This is to calm down any kind of itching or irritation on face or body. I use, I use it when I need it. I use it for my kids because actually my kids always have some kind of reactions to the food to the sun I don't know what sometimes it's just itch and I just put on the area where it itches and it's not like it disappears tomorrow after tomorrow but it comes down uh, your rotation and you just don't feel like to scratch it or itch it and another the last product that I got is this I know it's a gigantic bottle. Seriously, when I saw it, I was like, do you have the smaller one? But they didn't have. But no regrets about it. It's the Bioderma um, Anti-Rotation Shower Oil. It's a beautiful product and I've heard about it and I want to get it, I so I got it. Like, yeah, and I've been using it actually a lot. I love it. I can use it for the whole family, for the kids. You see, there is like the kitties um, are written, like you can use it for everyone. It's for the sensitive skin, for it's oil. So it's milder on the skin. It doesn't dry your skin off. And actually it's also multitasking because I use it as uh, for shaving and yeah, it's beautiful. And it a very nice sensation to the skin. If you don't have time in the morning, you actually can leave off the um, body lotion and you'll be still fine because you won't feel this, you know, uh, dryness to your skin that you have to put a body lotion right away. Unless, of course, you have a very dehydrated or dry skin or, you know, some some problematic skin. But this, and this Bioderma, this is from pharmacy, so has probably very few chemicals in there or none. That's it for the product. So thank you very much for watching, hope it was helpful and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.